G'day folks, what is going on? Coming to you from a very, very different location today. I am currently up the top of Mount Buller, um, which is about three hours outside of Melbourne, here in Australia. You can see the view behind me. It is amazing, so we've just got all ski tracks uh, down through here, and um, runs a bit further up this way. Let's see if I can go around here and show you guys. It's a bit slippery. Um, you can see up around here people coming down here so I was just up here for um, a couple of days spent a bit of time in the city and then came out here yesterday um, had a had a present that I got from um, from Liana my girlfriend that she bought me for my birthday at the end of last year which was to go um, to go dog sledding I'll uh, I'll get the guys to to put some photos in up here so you guys can see this and um, I've been sharing some of them over on my Facebook and amazing amazing experience it was something that I've wanted to do for a really really long time so we got to hang out with this big group of um, huskies and malamutes and um, you know, drive the sled and stuff, and it was it was a ton of fun. We're out for a couple of hours. It was an absolute, absolute blast. And uh, today, just um, when I'm skiing on on this trip, I've done I've done snowboarding before, but um, not on this trip. So we just came up came up today and did the did the scenic chairlift and had a bit of a um, look around. Just had a had a bite to eat, and we head back to um, head back to the Gold Coast tomorrow. Um, but I figured I'd take the opportunity while I'm up here in a very very different location to. Um, to film a quick video, I put a I put a post up in my Facebook group um, yesterday uh, while I'm up here, and it was really because uh, I had a bit of a, a big moment of, of gratitude. Really, yesterday was Monday, today's Tuesday, and uh, we our Monday morning started with um, we stayed in this little hotel kind of down down there somewhere, and uh, packed up our stuff and 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 made the journey up the drive up, and we're driving up the mountains. The snow started coming down, and then got to check into the hotel and do the thing with the dogs yesterday afternoon and then go out for an amazing dinner and and that was my Monday and um, it it gave me a big a big moment of gratitude around what this online business has been able to do for me and how it's changed things and, and I was saying in this post I'm I'm 31 now and uh, I started working in the corporate game for those of you that know my story um, back when I was 20 I, I graduated high school, did university in two years, went straight into the corporate game and started trying to climb that ladder and was cranking out 60 hour weeks from the time I, I was 20. And I worked my ass off for my entire 20s, um, trying to climb that, climb that corporate ladder. It took me over to New York and um, I, learnt, I learnt a ton of stuff. But I didn't, I didn't do the normal thing in, in your 20s where maybe you like take some time off or study for a little while and kind of change things up. I went born like straight into the, straight into the workforce. And, and sometimes people ask me if I kind of regret that, right? Like your 20s is a time that you obviously you don't get any time back, but it's a unique time in your life. And I can't say that I regret it because it's got me to where I am today. Um, being able to do shit like this uh, kind of pretty consistently we, we travel quite a lot because I can take the business on the road with me um, but no way in hell would I have been able to do that in the corporate game right like a, when I was working in America I think we got two three weeks off a year um, working in Australia we got like four weeks off a year and um, having the business has just given so much more um, flexibility the problem I have with the online business space is that um, there's this there's this constant push that you can do no work and um, it'll, you know, kind of magically appear. And that's just not the reality of it. Like where I am today, being able to do stuff like this and, and having systems and processes and stuff in place for the business is after, you know, I started it in 2017, 2018, I went full time and we've been consistently building and building and building every, every year. And this is now the, the byproduct of it and how I'm able to do this after all that time. So I don't want you guys to buy into that bullshit that it, takes no work um the longer term you can plan with your business the better in my perspective the best way to to tackle it and i think i'll probably title this video um how the how the information business has kind of changed my life the best way to tackle it in my opinion is uh building up a building up a personal brand and a following what platform you choose to do that on is is entirely up to you um I started out really with my Facebook group, grew that, expanded kind of outside, but still on Facebook. Now we do YouTube. We've got a podcast we upload on from time to time, rerun ads. So, so what I would encourage you to do is start building that personal brand and your audience today, right? Start building it today. A group is a great way to do it. TikTok's popping off at the moment. Regardless, pick one platform and start, you know, capturing people's information and building 
building that audience, a place that you can send traffic to and you can communicate with people every day, like we do with this YouTube channel. We send people from YouTube over to the Facebook group, onto the email list, and then I can stay in touch with them every day. The people that jump around for months and years trying to make this game work and never just stop and pick one platform and be consistent with it for an extended period of time to build up that audience, right, through providing value and um, sharing stories and, and actually helping people out, they ultimately get to the point where that's what they do anyway because that's the model, that's what works, right? So I would encourage you to start there as, as, soon, as soon as possible. Um, for me, back in 2017, I couldn't launch straight into that because of the job that I had, but as soon as I could, as soon as that opportunity popped up, I started building my Facebook group and and the rest is uh, the rest is history. So I would I would highly recommend that if you've been spinning your wheels, double down on on personal brand. Um, I think some people think the game is is saturated. I think in reality it has so far to go. I think digital education and people buying courses and coaching and mentorship is really only just taking off. I think it has a hell of a long way to go. I think people are becoming more and more aware of the fact that you can go online and learn stuff from people who are actually doing it. I'm not, I'm not the type that kind of shits on the college system or the university system. It served me really well. It got me into the workforce and uh, it, it taught me a lot of good lessons. So I'm not that type of person, but I think people are starting to open their eyes to the opportunities uh, that are out there. And that presents an opportunity for you um, if you've got a skill set or an expertise to monetize it in a big, big way and give yourself the, the flexibility to build a business online that will allow you to do that right and if you don't have that skill set develop one right like my my business in its current form has been developed online and what do I mean by that is I started out doing affiliate marketing right I started out mastering the art of affiliate marketing won a bunch of awards in that space and then had people saying hey 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 can you help me can you mentor me that's how I then started creating courses around that expertise that took me you know a couple of years to develop right um, that then evolved into selling you know a couple of million bucks in courses and people started going hey how are you doing this kind of info product thing and it evolves and it evolves and it evolves but you have to start somewhere and for me the personal branding game is is ultimately the play it can shift and, and it'll change over time but people will follow you even if your um, direction changes right even if your uh, what your you know your, your main focus even if that changes people will still um, people will still follow along because they're there for you. That's the difference between a, a personal brand and a brand that kind of like a, a company brand or a business brand you might you might call it. So that's what I'd recommend you start doing today. If you want help, you're welcome to uh, get in touch with us. We can see how we might be able to help you. Typically recommend people get started in the affiliate space because they uh, don't have to create their own products and stuff. They can just start with building up that personal brand and then um, learning the sales and the marketing side of it. Then down the track, you can go and create your own products. We've had tons of people do that and we've helped them do that. They start in the affiliate game and then grow and evolve and build their own things down the track and things just compound and compound and compound. That's the path that I'd recommend you take. All right, so just wanted to film a quick video from a very, very different location today. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, next time we chat, I'll be probably back home in the office on the Gold Coast, but uh, I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful view the rest of the day and I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Cheers.